What's up, DCS crew? We've got mail today, and this is from uh, the last Ranger. He is a part of the Apex group, as you can see. Uh, if you have a chance, go ahead and give the last Ranger a follow. I'm going to go ahead and put his information down in the comments section so you can go ahead and check out his channel, subscribe, uh, check out some of his videos. He's got some really cool content, uh, and he decided to go ahead and send this over to me as being part of the Apex Pass Around. So we're going to go ahead and see what's in here. Uh, it's going to be, I guess, a little bit of a first impressions video as well as just compare whatever is in here with some other knives that I may have lying around and probably in my pocket. So stay tuned. All right, guys, welcome back. So the knife we're going to be using today to unbox is going to be the concept little main street be on the lookout for a review coming of this little guy as well as his big brother the uh, not so little main street uh just called the main street both by dirk pinkerton uh but let's go ahead and get this open um let's see here yeah we'll start from here that way just in case there are any notes in here that are incriminating or that declare my name we can go ahead and get that out of the way okay there's nothing in there let's go ahead and toss that to the side the last ranger was kind enough to go ahead and hook me up with a decal. That's pretty dope. That is definitely going to go on a board that I have uh, being set up that you guys are going to be definitely seeing soon. So thank you so much, bro. And uh, okay, so we have a Civivi and this one is, it's the Knox. All right, let's go ahead and check out what it looks like. Pretty sure I know which one this one is. So uh, the the Knox was one of the, the knives that I don't think I was able to find uh, time at Blade Show to be able to go ahead and grab some video of, but it's a really cool knife. In fact, it is uh, Civivi's first frame lock, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, here it is. Okay, so it's uh, smaller than I recall, to be completely honest, because I do remember running into it over at Blade Show, and it wouldn't surprise me if this was actually the one that was used over at Blade Show to be able to show off for everybody. The weird thing about it was <clears throat> while we were at Blade Show, they had a lot of really cool stuff that towards the end of the show, they allowed some people to go ahead and purchase. And some of them were prototypes, like say for example, this guy right here. That's how I was able to go ahead and pick this up because of the fact that um, I had access to it at Blade Show and I told them, hey, I'd like to go ahead and pick it up. Uh, they let me purchase this. This was actually purchased and this is the Civivi Lumi from uh, Justin Lundquist, okay? So uh, this right here, if I recall correctly, this is uh, the Knox is the first official frame lock from Civivi. It does run on bearings. It's a very nice flipper knife. Um, I wanna say it's sized kind of similarly to the Civivi Elementum in uh, you know in blade length. I know that this has to be less than three inches and this just feels less than four inches. So I think overall it's uh, yeah, it's gonna be a nice office related knife. It's not your average liner lock. And the cool thing about this is that it's not your average steel either. Um, this is part of the new line of Civivis that are coming out in steels like uh, 14C28N and in this case, Nitro V. So I thought that was pretty cool. I gave it a quick wipe when uh, I took it out, as you can see, because I just wanted to go ahead and, and have a nice uh, profile for you to be able to go ahead and check out. So putting that right there in the middle, let's go ahead and check out some knives next to it. This is obviously the Little Main Street. <laughs> as you can tell, it is kind of small. And then his big brother, the Main Street. Uh, as you can see, it just kind of falls right there in the middle. Uh, let's see what else that we have here. I do have a couple of other knives near me. This is the Concept Cryo stonewashed d2 blade with my card of scales and uh if i s yeah my eyes are not mistaking me those last three were from concept so let me go ahead and take a couple of other ones obviously this is another cvv this is the lumi that i mentioned before gray G uh, g10 and 14c28 and steel currently because this is a prototype i mean you know take that with a grain of salt this is the cjrb centros big ups to dylan mallory who has his oem design the forest uh, coming out very soon, and the Hadros uh, that I had gone ahead and done a video of the prototype that he had provided during his visit to my house is going to be coming out soon, so uh, be on the lookout for that. This is the Best Tech Platypus, a little bit bigger than the uh, the Knox, as you can see. Another one we have here. We have the Penion Knives uh, Penya X Series. Raptor, there we go, <laughs> with the Jig Ti and uh, M390 steel. Last but not least, uh, actually we'll do one more after this, is the Becker BK40, I did do a video on this recently. 
Uh, so you can go ahead and check that one out. It's actually pretty cool. It's uh, Ethan Becker's first folding knife. And then uh, first on the channel, this is a Matt Degnan design right here. I believe it's called the Stellar. But they, they spell it kind of weird, which is why it kind of threw me off a little bit. I'm pretty sure that that's what they call it. They call it the Stellar. Um, I haven't seen Matt Degnan's stuff in a while. Um, the last time I saw something from him was from Kaiser and it was the Guru. Uh, great knife. He actually based that off of his custom design. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if this was one of his customs either. Excuse me. Now, <clears throat> what do I think about it? Well, the truth is, um, I really like where Civivi is going with this. It's got a deep carry clip. Um, the only thing is, it does sit proud of the actual scale itself. It's not like uh, G10 where you can kind of mill the G10 a little bit and kind of make it, you know, the clip a little bit more shrouded. It is what it is. It does have flat screws in it. Uh, I see the screws in, let's see if it's a T8 or a T6. Okay, the body screws are a T8, the pivot screw is a T8, and ah, the clip screws are T6. So let me go ahead and see if, I'm pretty sure it's T6. Oh, shout out to Freedom Lou, by the way, who decided to make a nice little cameo right there. And uh, let me go ahead and take out the T6 bit and see if this works. Yeah, it does. All right, so looks like it's a T6 for the screws that belong for the clip and T8 for the body screws as well as the pivot. You have the all black um, scale, the black hardware, black pivot, which is the black C, and then uh, it is tapped for left or right hand carry. Um, it is a, uh, a frame lock, so unfortunately, even if you have the left hand carry option, you are still going to have to uh, use the right side for the frame lock to be able to engage. Now, speaking of engagement, uh, the action on this is actually really good. Uh, you do get some jimping on the flipper tab. Let me see if I can go ahead and do a little bit of a close-up so you can see that there. So you can see. Uh, they're not too um, soft, actually. They're, they're, they're pretty rough. So uh, something like this, you know, being able to fidget with it uh, is made possible because of the fact that the detent has been dialed in pretty well with this. Um, it's nice and, and centered. Um, I actually dig it. Uh, it's very nice and slicey from the look of the blade shape. Very nice. Grind lines are nice and clean. Nice little swedge here. Let me see if it has any information that would indicate who made it. No, it doesn't. Uh, it just has right here, maybe you can see it up close. It does have the indication for the steel. So this is basically the first impressions that I have for the CPV Knox. Now, um, personally, this would make a very good office knife or if you're in a state that prohibits less than three inch carry uh, three inch blades for you to be able to carry whether you have a you know weapons permit or not uh, this might actually be a good option for you if you want something a little bit more stout you believe more than frame locks than a, uh, a liner lock so this isn't bad um, I actually like how since this has been through a couple hands already and it's gotten to me this is actually a lot less pronounced like you can't see yeah, you can see it a little bit here. Um, there is a kind of like a, a user wear on the scales. It kind of gives it that, that stonewash look. It actually doesn't come like that. It comes clean, but people have been pocketing it and using it and stuff like that. So you do have some marks on it. And I actually like that because it, it gives it some character and it gives a, a little bit of a contrast from the you know satin finish on the blade to what you see here on the scales, which ends up being something a little bit more uh, used uh, so I'm, I'm kind of digging that. Now, as far as the black hardware, my biggest concern with the clip is, you know, once it's being used, and you can kind of see it here a little bit from people using it, uh, this is going to start to chip. So I don't know, maybe for me, I would probably just swap it out with their satin clip and just kind of go with it. So uh, other than that, this is actually a really cool design. I, I'm going to do a little bit more of an in-depth review once I've carried it for a little while, but I did want to go ahead and show you this first impression. So um, huge shout out to the Apex Pass Around and a huge shout out to my boy, uh, The Last Ranger. You can go ahead and hit him up on Instagram at the last at Last Ranger 1965, which I presume may be his uh, year of birth. Mine is 83, by the way. I am 38 years old as of this year. Um, and that's basically it for today, folks. Thank you so much for checking out this uh, first impressions and the unboxing of the Civivi Knox. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to go ahead and comment below. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you are not a follower of this channel. Guys, 
98% of you that are watching this are doing it for funsies without getting the full benefit of this channel. Subscribe so that when I upload a video, you can go ahead and be the first to go ahead and check it out. Like it, comment it, dislike it for all I care. It helps with the metrics. <laughs> that being said, thank you so much for watching. You guys are great. Stay sharp. And just remember, if you EDC, think of DCS. I'll go ahead and put some video here so you can go ahead and check out. And hopefully I will see you on the flip side. Take care. Peace.